Good morning, Cyber Friends. It's me, man. Coming back at you from Walker's Music. We got another word for the day. Sunday morning edition, people. It's second Sunday, you know, last second Sunday in the year 2012. And we want to first of all give a shout out to the YouTube fam. Um, you know who you are. Also to the End Time Harvest Game, Brother LA, Kingdom Knowledge. Also our favorite internet pastor, Michael McCray, Johnny McCray as well as Evangelist Janet McCray we'll give y'all honor to the Blog Talk family. Uh, you know who you are. We're going to mention a couple of names this morning. Uh, we thank uh, we thank God for all our supporters. Uh, we thank God for you. And uh, we, uh, from Lady D, Sister Maria, Brother JT, as well as I found Brother Chiron and Brother Marquis, the one that's been faithful in kingdom building and we just give y'all honor today and we thank God for you we also specially recognize our Heavenly Father for giving us life and health and strength to be able to do what we do and I'm not going to sit here and tell you people that it's a cakewalk because sometimes sometimes we can things can get heavy on us and um, old, old Satan can bring things to our memory you know Try to bring up things from our past. Try to defeat us with them. You got to be sharp. You got to be on your toes about that. So, many man saying, season greeting. Season greeting to all, everyone, all the contacts on Facebook and every, on, everywhere. Those that I know, those that I don't know, as I'm saying, season greeting. And we hoping that this, at this time of year, in other words, I know we got a lot of mixed feelings about Christmas. Got people say it's pagan. I'm not arguing with that, but I'm just saying that it's just a time that we've decided that we celebrate and we set aside the time of Christ's birth. We don't know when it was born and what time. We got people that say it was in September. We got some say it might have been late August and all that, but we, that's beside the point. The thing of it was that he did come and he was born. In other words, Isaiah said his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, mighty God, Emmanuel, God with us. So, matter of fact, Michael, the prophet Michael said he would be born in Bethlehem. That was so. So, the point of the matter is he did come. That's all that many man need know. And I'm just saying that as I journey out this morning, <clears throat> as usual, I'm going to do what thus said the Lord. I'm going to use the talent and gift he had given me. I'm employing it in back into the kingdom of kingdom building and the ministry of music and I'm going to do it with my whole heart to the best of my ability and that's all that the Lord requires and so I don't have to worry about it if I don't come up to anyone else's standard as long as I do what does say the Lord he knows my heart see that's one thing about it I'm so glad that the Holy Spirit knows exactly what's in you because he's the one put it in there so he knows when you're giving your best and he knows exactly what you can do because he is the one that put it there so He's not going to ask you to do anything that you cannot do. So with that said, we're just saying that we hope that everybody have a wonderful holiday. Happy holiday. In other words, may you, may all your, from now and from now to the end of 212 and then from 213 on in to the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I wish you wellness and happiness, being in health and prosperity in every area of your life. That is my wish for you. And I hope and I will be praying for all of you. And I want you to pray for old Mitty Man that he stay strong in the Lord. That he can remain steadfast. And I'm going to pray that you remain steadfast. Stay strong. Because I believe with some days, some difficult, difficult days are ahead. And then we're going to have to be very, very strong to withstand the test that's our common on this world. Uh, I was looking at the <coughs> Christian News Network. On yesterday, and I saw how the the calamity that was in the Philippines, you know, all the people that died, and the, the flood, and the mudslides, and all, and in an area that never was before, never even had a storm. They said, that some of the ladies were saying, and I heard old, uh, I heard of from a uh, Filipino lady say, and it was it was so touching. She said, "We got to go back to God. We turn our backs on God." And I just stood there and they said, "Amen." Amen. And she wasn't, I don't think she was only talking about her village. 
As a matter of fact, I know she was because I'm looking at the world. We all have turned away from God to a degree. Not everyone, but I'm talking about us as a whole. You got the nations and governments and stuff that they have turned their back. And they have turned their backs on God. And He is the only answer, people. He is the only answer. So I, when I saw that, I mean, my heart just, my, just, just went out to the people there in that village. And that's why I watch the Christian news because they go in more depth. They go in the areas to where the regular media is not going to go. It's worldly. Babylon don't care about that. So we must check out the and support these uh, Christian broadcasts that brings us this type of information that you, we need to know about because the mass media that belong to Babylon is not going to air it. It's not going to air it. It's not going to advertise. It's not going to air it because they could care less. Believe me, people, they could care less. So with that being said, I'm on this season, you know, I'm just saying, people, we need to, and I don't want to be cliche about it because I know everybody done used this here, overly used it. So but he is the reason for the season. He's the reason, Jesus is the reason for everything. So we not only the season, but everything else. But I'm just saying, at a special time, let's set aside this time. Please, let's give him his day. Don't worry about so much about you getting on Christmas present. It's not about you. It's not your birthday. Now, if your birthday just happened to be on December 25th, then that's a different story. But don't worry about it if you don't get and get and get. Don't worry. You go out and get somebody or something if you want to, if you are able to. And if you're not, pray for them. But it's not about what you can give, but it's what you can give. Bless, more blessed to give than to receive. That being said, this many man saying, whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God is not in it, it's best that you come on out of it. This is many man saying, peace. Have a great worship service today if you can, if you're going. And remember, make certain you keep God first. That said, this is many man saying, peace. Goodbye.